Hi, my beauties. It's Chrissy Marie here, and I'm coming to you all with the fourth video. Is it the fourth? No, it's the third video. Oops. It's the third video of the series, Anastasia, the Anastasia series that I have been doing for the last few weeks, or the last week, I should say. Um, so yeah, I'm coming to you all with this gorgeous look. I just absolutely love it. Love everything about it. Everything. I wish I had somewhere to go, so I didn't have to wash it off. But nope, sit at home and chill with my family on this snowy, snowy day. But yeah, I absolutely love this look. If you like this look, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any suggestions or comments in the comment section below. Visit that description box so you can follow all my social medias. And if you have yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, knowing that you have already been here before and knowing that you're going to continue to come back, then what is going on? I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button. Oh, I have already done one eye off camera because I really didn't know how it was going to look. So I decided to practice before I hop on camera and fuck shit up basically <laughs> so this is the third uh tutorial from my or for the anastasia beverly hills series that i am doing we are going with the soft glam <clears throat> and my instagram definitely picked this out i have to say that this nor in this palette is so freaking dark and i know that it's a carbon black matte black but jesus it is so dark i had it everywhere i had to make sure that i didn't have anything on my hands it's just really dark if you want to pitch black that's pick pitch black so i'm wiping stuff off now so i have already prepped and primed my eyes i'm going to start off with my transition color which I am using Sienna. That is like an earthy brown color. I'm gonna take my transition brush that I always use and <clears throat> dig into that color and go for it. And I'm just lightly going to blend this out in my transition or in my crease. I'm not taking too much of it in my crease, but I am dragging it all the way down to the inner corner of my eye. After taking that color, I'm gonna take this mulberry color. <clears throat> it's like a berry color and uh, it's matte. I love these matte shadows in here. They are so pigmented. Pigmented. <clears throat> Sorry, I need some water. But they are so pigmented and I just love it. Like, I love them. But I'm going to take that and just blend it on top of my transition color. And make sure I deepen that color in. Because that's the color I really want to show. I'm going to take the Nora which is this dark carbon black matte. And I'm going to start it on my outer V. Lord, I don't want to drop this brush. Start it on my outer V and just blend it up my uh, to my transition. So you guys want, if you have this palette and you're going to decide to do this look, please be careful with this black, please. Because when, when I say carbon black, carbon like deep dark black so I'm just gonna pat it on my outer portion of my eye and drag it up to the transition color I'm gonna take a pencil brush and start uh, blending out the color on my <clears throat> and my crease just lightly blend it, blending out any excess from what I already put down you want to be very light with this color 
especially towards the inner corner. And then I'm just going to take that brush that I did the mulberry with just to blend out any edges lightly. All right, after I blend this seamlessly, I'm going to just cut my, my crease. And when I cut my crease, I literally, <clears throat> let me get another thing. When I cut my crease, I literally made like a moon, like legitimately made a moon and like I rounded it. So what you see is what you get. <laughs> but yeah, I rounded it instead of just leaving it basically straggly uh, in a sense because I usually blend out the edges. I rounded it really sharp. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take uh, uh, my ColourPop Pro Filter Concealer and I'm just going to uh, cut the crease and no filter concealer, I'm sorry. Cut the crease and uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop back on camera or I'm gonna just fast forward this part. So yeah. All right, I think I did that crease cut a little too high. I'm not too sure. I try to blend it out a little more, blend the black black down, but I don't think I will figure it out until, or I don't think I will actually know if I did it too high uh, until I actually start putting a crease color on it. So, all right, so after allowing your crease to dry, take the glistening, <clears throat> the glistening color, I'm sorry you guys, I keep looking at my monitor to make sure I'm in focus, but take the glistening color and it's like a iridescent gold with like pink shimmers in it. Take that and pack that like tight on the lid. I'm gonna speed up this process as well. All right, after packing that color on, what I did was just take an angle brush and some gel black liner, and I'm just going cre to create my uh, my eyeliner, or I wanted to say wing, but I'm just going to create a little black line, a thick one. And I chose gel liner because gel liner, most of the time, dry down matte. So I didn't want it to be shiny, I want it to be matte. And I did take this way too high, which I'm not proud about, but yeah, I tried to fix it, it just did not work. So I'm gonna just take this liner and create my thick line. I'm gonna actually, uh, Take the carbon black, or carbon black, <laughs> the Noor, and pack that on there with a different angle brush, just so it is matte. All right, ladies, so um, I just ate a banana, so I had to wipe off my lips and, uh, put some Vaseline on it, but I absolutely love this eye look. Like, although this crease is way higher and kind of messed up right here than this crease, I absolutely love it. I tried to fix it, it did not work, so I just uh, left it alone, alone before I messed it up even worse. Um, 
The style of lashes I have on are from Lily Lashes and this is the style Miami. I did not pay full price. I actually got them from like Marshalls. I actually, Marshalls or I think it was TJ Maxx, one of them. I don't know if you guys are located or if you have those stores wherever you are, but that's where I got them from because I was not, I was not about to spend that much on lashes i just wasn't but these are the style miami and they are so freaking cute i possibly would spend however much they are <laughs> on them because they are super freaking cute so um yeah i got the little powder up under my eye just so when i finish the bottom part of the eye from the eye look the if i use black it doesn't really mess up my highlight so yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna just do the inner corner. I'm gonna be taking, I don't know yet. I'm gonna be taking Fairy from this same palette. And this, this is what I'm gonna actually put in my inner corner. It's like a gold, a gold shimmer. After placing that in my inner corner, I'm just going to take my black pencil, which I don't know where it is. What I think I'm going to do is really tightly put it very close to my waterline. I'm going to just smudge it out with the mulberry color just to blend it. So I'm going to be taking a smudge brush, a Morphe M408 brush. Alright, so after spraying it and letting it settle in, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Blush Palette and I wanted to go with something really... I, I thought it was going to have a color in here that I needed. I think I'm going to take Endless uh, out of this palette for a blush color. And then for a highlight, I'm just gonna go with my M. Rizzy collab with Anastasia. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this highlighter and use this one because I absolutely love it. So, if you guys are tired of seeing it, I'm sorry, but I absolutely love it. All right, so I was kind of conflicted with uh, <clears throat> what lip to actually pair with this eye. I'm going to take my cork liner by MAC and then the Aaliyah Collection lipstick and try me again, which is like this dark brown color. And then I'm going to take a new color from ColourPop and these little pencils. And this is skimpy, which is like a new color. 
I'm going to take that just in the middle and we shall see how that turns out. And I'm just going to pop on some mascara on the bottom lash line. 